In Light of Eternity, The Life of Leonard Ravenhill. Now, why am I recommending this book? Well, because Leonard Ravenhill had such a tremendous impact upon my life. As a, as a young man, a young Christian, um, I had the privilege of reading many of his books, of listening to his sermons, but I also had the privilege of, of listening to him preach uh, a lot live uh, in the congregation and also a few conversations with him. And um, I can tell you that uh, this man walked with God. And I, I don't say that lightly, um, not at all. He truly walked with God, and he was a man of prayer. In a day where, you know, ministers are sending out questionnaires to discover what people want to hear and what they want out of a church, uh, Leonard Ravenhill is refreshing. He only wanted to know what God wanted the people to know. And that's what made him so prophetic and so useful in, in God's economy. Now, again, the book is In Light of Eternity, The Life of Leonard Ravenhill. And uh, I've written here on the back, uh, they let me say something. It's one of the greatest privileges of my life to be able to do so. Um, this is what uh, I have written. I was introduced to Leonard Ravenhill at the very beginning of my Christian pilgrimage, and the impact of his life upon mine remains unto this day. He lived as one who dwelt in the shadow of the Almighty, and he preached as one sent from God. He knew God's presence, wore his mantle, bore his burdens, and spoke his truth. He was the rarest of commodities in his day and in ours. He was a man of God, and his legacy continues in, in people like me, um, so many of my friends, so many of... Uh, the seminary students that were friends of mine and college students, we used to gather together just to, to go listen to him. I, I, it was always exciting to hear that Leonard Ravenhill was in town because you knew that he was going to tell you the truth and you knew that he was going to bring you something, something from God. I, ge I guess one of the greatest impacts that Leonard Ravenhill had on my life was with regard to prayer and, and the power of God. Like E.M. Bounds, like, like George Mueller, um, like Robert Murray McShane, he was a man of prayer. And he taught us that every battle had to be won on our knees, not in the pulpit, not in activity, not in ministry, but before God. And he taught us that a man needed God's seal, God's approval upon his life. And that, that although we need to study the scriptures and memorize the scriptures and, and concern ourselves with the purest, most pristine theology, we must have the power of God upon our lives. It's an absolute essential, an absolute essential. And that's why I recommend this book. Many of the young men that um, are around me, uh, they're all very serious about uh, church history and systematic theology and Greek and Hebrew and, and all those things that are so very important, expository preaching. But when it's all said and done, I ask them the things Ravenhill used to ask us. How many hours on your knees? How much do you pray? You know about God. Do you know God? Do you know him? And so I recommend this book, In Light of Eternity, The Life of Leonard Ravenhill. And they tell me that you can get it at ravenhillbiography.com. That's um, ravenhillbiography.com. And I, I highly recommend this book. I'm, I'm not giving a, a recommendation here because I have something to gain. And I'm, I'm not even giving a recommendation because Mac Tomlinson's a good friend of mine. I'm giving this recommendation because Leonard Ravenhill had a tremendous impact on my life. A tremendous impact. And I believe that he will also have an impact on yours. God bless you.